O oh, Obelisk of the Night, reveal your secrets unto me. Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government! Uh, kinda weird, but okay. Hello everyone, I'm your friendly neighborhood Okatushka, and welcome back to RimWorld Anomaly. Now like I said in the last episode, I was gonna do some stuff off camera, and I did. Uh, mostly just set the groundwork for a few things, just planning out, but I kind of changed my mind on one thing. This was supposed to be like the R&D area, and I still might do that. And then I went back and forth between making the R&D area and making it the hospital, and maybe making it the dormitory, and yada yada yada, long story short, Mechanator. I decided to go ahead and get a Mechanator. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're dealing with dark Arco technology, and what what is a mechanator? Oh, wait, right, you guys, uh, thank you. Thank you for hunting that down for me. Uh, what is a mechanator but somebody who masters the Arco tech? Right? I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go with that. So we just got to destroy this and get a mechanator. And then we're going to turn this area into their lab. Also, I decided to go ahead and just put the geothermal generator here. We're just going to break this down into... Oh, a single cell. It it kind of throws off the the balance of it, but come on, man! I can't get rid of a geothermal generator. It's, it, it it provides so much power. Also, I decided to do something with this area. I decided to turn this into our reliquary, our church, our little religious area. So when we do our conversions, when we do our uh, leader speeches, so on and so forth, team meetings, you name it, uh, we're gonna do it in this room. It was too small to make it into a cell, and honestly, with the obelisk being its own... Where, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. With the obelisk being a, an anomaly, and with the flesh pit itself being an anomaly, I don't know if... Where are they at? If we can capture these two, they may not be anomalies like shamblers and ghouls. They could be forces of nature, like the, the pit gate, or the... The corrupted obelisk. I mean, even the dread mill. We couldn't capture it. We had to kill it in order to close the, the pit gate. So we may not be able to capture the more advanced ones. Or at the very least, we may only be able to capture a few of them. Like these two, well, these three, look kind of humanoid. So we might be able to capture them. This looks like an obelisk. This looks like a spike monster. I don't know. So we, I, I, we'll just have to figure it out. So instead of turning it into a bigger cell for the two last things, which I may not be able to capture them anyways, I decided to turn it into our, our little church area, our little religious uh, room, if you will. Oh, and the shuttle arrived. Let's go ahead and get them loaded up. And now that we have the mechanoid transponder, Stevens, your leader, decipher it. And there we are, we have the quest ancient craft, so... Just a scyther? Yeah. Let them come. Where are they at? Oh, they're pretty close. Nothing that Fugly 2 and 3 can't handle, though. Take them out. Wait, uh, together, though. Together. I don't know how close you guys are. Get him! Take him out. Oh, Fugly 2, you're hurt! Get out of there! I can't lose another ghoul. You guys cost too much. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Okay, alright, good. Good. Buckle 3's got it. Uh, Chris. Help him out. Thought you guys were gonna be able to take care of the. Oh, Fugly 3, you're taking some damage. Chris, where are you? Oh, it's gonna take you too long to get there. Uh, who's closer? Everyone, we need all hands on deck. Just get over here. Fugly 3, hold out. Uh, should I get Fugly 2 back over there to help? Their movement is down by 31%. Their movement is only down by 54 Let's get them out of there. Retreat. Retreat. I think you can outrun them. Okay, you can. You can. You can outrun them. Just get out of there. I thought you guys would be able to take out a Scyther. I guess I was wrong. Uh, Fugly 2, your movement must be down a lot. Oh, the Scyther is coming. How much is your movement down by? 
Movement down by 27%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you're, you're gonna get caught. Uh, everyone, get, get down there. Get down there now. Help Fugly, too. Oh, take him out, take him out, take him out. Yes! Oh, thank God. Alright, well, uh... That was stressful. Fugly 2, Fugly 3, uh... Thank you. You guys did... Good, good, good work. Alright, Stevens. Get that mech link. Did you get it? Ah, oh, there it is! Now... I say we make Steven. Stevens is the leader. She is our, our head scientist, our head researcher. Kelly is our our religious guy. He he worries about the natural aspect of these things. Where Steven focuses on the mechanical aspect. So I say we make Stevens the Oh. Stevens is psychically deaf. So Stevens cannot be Mechanator. Alright, well then. Who's the next best? Who's who's good at at crafting? Cause that's what we're gonna need. Uh, Chris has got 12. Yumi is 11. 5. 9. 5. Uh, well, I guess Chris is the best one at it. Fine then. Chris. Become Mechanator. Oh, and we're done with ghoul enhancements. Alright, cool. Uh, next, let's go with... Uh, I want to bring zombies. <laughs> let's go with the Dread Life Pack. I want, I want to make zombies. Awesome. So Chris is now a Mechanator. Don't we get a... Oh, there we go. Constructor? Ah, oh, cool. So we get the little guy who makes things. Uh, well, makes... Well, that's going to help us out. We got we got a lot of a lot of building to do. Where was the Mechanator stuff at? Was that under Biotech? I don't see any of the Mechanator stuff anywhere. Oh, do we have to research it? Basic Mech Tech. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we gotta do. We gotta research it. Well, uh, we're almost done with tube television. After we get some TVs, we'll, uh, we'll do that. As of right now, look at him go, look at him go. I guess we should name you. Would they care about naming their, their bots? Alright, so I want to make a, kind of a rule. We're not gonna build any combat robots. Just stuff that's gonna help around, like the Roomba, the Constructor, maybe a doctor bot but as far as like scythers centipedes i don't know if we're gonna build any of those this is this is more of let the anomaly shine so ghouls i'm down for uh scythers and centipedes let's uh let's hold off on that Ooh, we're out of food again okay uh time to go hunting as a matter of fact let's get everyone the mega sloth over here that's turned traitor Wait, no, this isn't Bob. This is some common bitch. Well, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take him out anyways. Distress signal. You've intercepted a distress signal from a nearby camp of Weg Sound. The frantic voice begs for immediate assistance defending against a threat. They offer everything at their camp in return for help, including shards of powerful Arker technology. As the voice tries to explain the nature of the threat, the signal goes dead. Where are they at? That sounds... Oh, they are right down the road from us. All right. Cool. Uh, let's refill our food supply first. You two just stand in front. And we will help with that. Before we head out to help, I say we let Fugly 1... I'm sorry. I keep saying Fugly 1. Fugly 2 and 3 rest for just a little while. Let them recover. Once they've recovered, then I say we head out. Investigating the obelisk has revealed some information. It is an arco technology device that seems to interact with organic creatures at a distance. It is probably a piece of a much larger arco tech structure that was destroyed or broken apart long ago. The machinery at its core is inhumanly complex and frighteningly powerful. Its purpose and method of action remains totally mysterious. If not suppressed, its activity level will increase over time. You can't tell what will happen when device is fully activated. We are scientists. We are the ones who, who look into the void, who look into the darkness, who crack open the door. 
to the unknown. I say we let it build up. I say we let it keep going. After we help the the other settlement. After we help them. Then we will we will do that. Because we're about to send people away. I don't wanna I don't wanna have this thing start to build up while we have our people away. Alright, cool. Tube television, gone. Uh basic mech tech. Let's let's get it. Gray flesh. Kelly has discovered a strip of fleshy tissue. It resembles human skin stained gray by tiny metallic particles. It must have sloth off someone during flesh liquefaction. What? Someone here may not be what they say. Oh, I wonder who it could be. There are several ways to detect imposters. The interrogate prisoner interaction mode is now unlocked. Imprison someone and send a warden to interrogate them about their true identity. This could take many days. Collect more great flesh and analyze it to determine the biosignature of the threat. Then, use the surgical inspection operation to... But I... I is it not dread? Because I did that. Use the surgical inspection operation to search for that biosignature. It could take a long time to collect enough samples and the surgery is invasive. Execute or banish whoever you suspect. Warning, some parasites can control the minds and even be transmitted to others? Is Stevens already... Because Stevens is the one who did... I, I'm I'm almost 100% sure it's Dread. Here, Dread, analyze this. What do you think of it? Does this make you feel things? Basic mech tech, thank you. Uh, let's go with microelectronics. Alright. Analyze the progress. Dread has finished analyzing the gray flesh sample. The sample carried the biosignature. Um, whatever. Dread made progress in learning to identify the biostructure in living subjects, but needs more samples to complete the work. Until then, your surgical inspection will not detect them. Collect and analyze more gray flesh. So, we have to wait? Well, we're in the middle of something right now. We gotta go help those the, the other settlement. Another settlement needs our help. Uh, how are you? you? Right thumb, you're good. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and load up the caravan. Except. Uh, wait, where's where's Fugly 2? Can I not take Fugly 2? Is because Fugly 2 is injured? Fine, Fugly 3. Okay, they made it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's... Oh, it's flesh. It's flesh monster. Oh, great. This is my nightmare. Well, let's line up, everyone. The first thing we need to do is close this pit up. Everyone, cover Kelly while Kelly fills in this pit. No, 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 Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I need you to be brave. I need you to be brave. Fill in the pit. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay. Kelly, go ahead and go to the next one. You guys. Enter in. Oh, okay. All right. Ambush! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, everyone, come back. Kelly, uh, fall back. I know I told you to be brave, but now is not a time for bravery. You need to get out of there. Ooh, they are coming. Oh, there's so many of them. Kelly, defend your friends. Okay. All right. Kelly, quickly. Fill that in. Is there any more of them? None that I can see. Where's the last flesh monster? I know there's one in here. Where'd it go? Ooh, we got a shard. And a bionic arm. Oh, there it is. Okay, come take this thing out. And then we can go home. And there we go. Finish it off. Wait, can we capture it? We can capture it. We can capture it. Don't finish it off. Don't finish it off. Don't finish it off. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. Let's uh, let's take what we can and get out of here. Wait, can we not? Can we not take the the tough spike? It was still alive. I guess you can't take anomalies with you. All right. Well then, uh, we'll just take the wood. 
Oh, they made it back. Perfect. Entity escaped. Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, it's just it's just a sight stealer. Okay, well, that's not too big of a problem. Let's see, Fugly 3 is all the way up there. Fugly 2 is there. Uh, Fugly 2. Take him out. How's the door looking? The door's looking fine. And we got, uh, Wheeler, you can, you can do construction, right? No, you cannot. I mean, I'm sure you could. Just don't have you assigned to it. It'll be fine. Fugly 2's there. Bring them down. There we go. Thank you. New lovers. Wheeler and Yumi. Oh, you love to see it. Unfortunately, you guys are heretics who don't follow our way, so... We're gonna have to change that soon. But as for right now... Nice. Ooh. We learned more about the obelisk. You've learned more about the obelisk. The device has the power to duplicate intelligent creatures. Oh. In theory, it can produce duplicates without limit. The obelisk appears damaged and unstable, so its energy level rises unless suppressed. If it were to fully activate, it would go into a duplication loop, chaotically pumping out a large number of flawed human duplicates. Indigo thinks that it may be possible to safely shut down the obelisk, but this will need significantly more study. You could now intentionally provoke a response from the corrupted obelisk. What do you mean intentionally provoke a response? Oh, I can duplicate. I can do. What if I duplicate Chris? With him being a, a mechanator, will that give me a second mechanator? Let's hold off on that for right now. Shambler's approach. Where are they at? Oh, it's just what, one, two, three, four of them? Yeah, we're good. Not worried about it. What? 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 There's two Kellys? And one of them's naked! While Kelly interacted with the obelisk, it pulsed with energy and generated a flash of light. Kelly found himself face to face with a copy of himself. The duplicate, the duplicate claims to be the real Kelly and has joined your colony. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Well, please put some pants on. Oh, now we can make zombies. Cool. Uh, zombie flesh be. I'd rather not. What is this? Performed a psychic ritual that causes a target to age rapidly. The ritual invoker will become younger in the process. The target will suffer brain damage as a result, which may be lethal for elderly targets. Wait a minute. Does that mean we can basically keep our people young and healthy forever? Organ Decay Kelly? Kelly can no longer hide his crippling condition. The duplication process has left his body riddled with rotting organs. Kelly has organ decay, affecting the following body parts. Right kidney, right lung, left lung, left kidney. Place an organ soon to keep Kelly healthy. You can use bionic organs or natural ones taken from donors. Okay, all right. Uh, dread. You have spare organs, don't you? I mean, you come back. Let's take one of your kidneys and one of your lungs. We'll take your left kidney and your left lung. And that way you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. I'm, I'm too funny. Entity Liberator Dread. Dread has become suddenly allured by the captive entity and is convinced it must be freed. It's because we took a few organs. No, we ain't doing that. We are not doing that. Uh, for prisoner. Indigo. Arrest them. 60% chance. Let's do it. Nope, nope. Dread is, uh, Dread's fighting back. Dread's fighting back. Fugly 2, Fugly 3. Get in there. Help him out. Oh, Indigo's getting knocked out. Indigo, fall back. Ooh. Dread, bring them down, but... Try to keep him alive. I want to interrogate him. Oh, don't, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. D don't, don't do that. We don't need that. 
We just need to bring them down. Safely. Fugly 2 help. Come on, drop. Drop. I don't want you to die. Well, I guess you'll come back. You'll be alright. What? Metal horror emerging. What? What? Hold on. Metal horror. Oh my god. Let's see. Uh, the metal horror is emerging. Slicing through flesh and skin. This nightmarish bladed creature is cutting its way out of its host. The metal horror is emerging from Dread. Oh, really? Yeah, would have never guessed. Dread's metal horror emerged because Dread died. These horrifying metallic parasites live inside the victim, taking control of higher reasoning via a network of hair-thin metallic filaments that they spread throughout the body and brain. They control the victim's mind and compel them to infect others with new metal horrors. How... Do... Do we have more of these things? Hey, everybody, everybody, everybody. Get out here. New research available. Cool. Your discovery of the metal horror has yielded new insight. You can now research the following anomaly projects. Metal Blood Serum. Metal Blood Serum. Synthesizing Metal Blood Serum that make the user more resistant to damage. Okay, cool. Uh, that's awesome. Can we bring this thing down, please? Oh, Dread's back up! Uh, cause of course, of course you are. Right now. In the middle of this. Fugly 3, where are you going? Fugly 3 cannot- Oh, Fugly 3's down! Okay, this has become a, a much bigger problem. Jesus, this thing's just not dropping! Not Clone Kelly. Go go help Clone Kelly. Clone Kelly. Come up here and use your body as a shit. Yes! Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Capture it. No, it, this requires a lot of containment strength. I think it's going to break out. Unless we build a better door. Just capture it for right now. Just capture it for right now. Alright, Dread's down. Again. And here we go. Here we go with the... the here, get the knife. Get the knife before Dread does. Clone Kelly, fall back. If we could bring Dread down, I could... Yes, okay, perfect. Thank you. Capture Dread. Chris, I need you to get on that immediately. We don't... That thing tore through us. We don't need that thing getting out. Medical emergency Dread. Hey, did you grow your organs back? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got your organs back. I see. I think that's enough to keep you a bit... Yes, containment strength 200. All right, perfect. Death in 10 seconds. Oh, because you're worried about giving them med- Don't worry about giving them medicine. They'll be alright. They'll be fine. And now Dread's back. Look, look at them. They're back. Look, you got one more use of that. You, you have got- You have used a lot of your lives, okay? Just hang tight. You'll be alright. And now that you're here, let's go ahead and interrogate you. All right, did you remove the uh, entity escape? Hold on. What's happening? Oh, it's just a sight stealer. Oh, and the, and the ghoul. Both of them broke out. All right, fugly two, fugly three. Get over here. Ooh, that door's about to break. Nope, door's, door's broken. Door's broken. There's nothing we can do. Yep, door's broken. Well, once we drop them, we'll just have to build another door. Ah, Fugly 2's down. Alright, Stevens. I'm gonna need you to go over there and help. But, but, shoot the, shoot the thing. Don't, don't shoot the wall. St Stevens. 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 There you go, you got him. Got a good shot off. Thank you. Ooh, another good one. Let's not kill him, though. There we go. I hope you didn't kill him. You killed him, didn't you? Yep. Well, take the skull. I did, what? Wait a minute. Did you destroy the... Oh, no. You destroyed the lung while you were trying to put it in. And you stabbed him in the torso. Really? Really? You're... Sorry, Clone Kelly. You're gonna die now. 
Stevens, really, you you really dropped the ball on this one. You done goofed. Here, you know what? Clone Kelly's dead. Like, you're gonna die here. You're gonna die on the operating table. There's nothing we can do. Uh, get rid of that. Let's put you down to doctor care, but no medicine. That way we don't waste the medicine on you. Cause there's nothing we can do, man. I'm so sorry. I tried, man. I tried. I, I even cut out the, the organs of this one. So that we could, we could take care of you, but... I mean, I guess I could take more organs. And hey, what's Dread gonna do? Die again? I'm just worried about running out of medicine. I only got 11 more of those. Oh, cool, and we got the, the de-aging thing. That's cool. Uh, next we'll go with, um... Draw Shamblers? Form a psychic ritual which draws a horde of animated corpses. While hostile, the corpses won't attack your colony directly. They can't be captured for study, though. I will take that. I like zombies. Oh, what a day. We got cloned. We got sliced. We died a couple of times. And we lost one of the ghouls. But ultimately, a successful containment breach. Good job, everyone. I'm proud of you all. And this has been RimWorld Anomaly. I hope you're enjoying the episode, because I know I enjoy making it. And I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!